Hey there warriors, today we need to create this fancy looking carousel with images which needs to loop through our images and then start over from the beginning. We're going to use the power of Shadzien of course, but this is not their regular basic carousel. This one is modified and we need to add additional configuration to be able to control the carousel state and to see it throughout our whole page. Also, warriors, I'm really curious what do you think about these AI images. I created them all in Dolly 3 and I think they're really awesome. Write me in the comments below what do you think. And let's start coding! Chop chop! We have here our fresh copy of Next.js and first thing we are going to do, we are going to initialize ShadCN UI library. So I'm inside the documentation clicking get started, then installation and after that Next.js. Here we are copying the npx shedcn UI latest init command and pasting it inside of my terminal. We're going to choose default, let's pick stone this time and we're going to use CSS variables for colors. And now our shedcn UI library is successfully initialized. Next thing is to change our layout file. So we are going here and we are copy pasting everything from the shedcn documentation and I'm opening the layout file from our code and copy pasting everything. So now we just need this class name for our body and I'm putting that one here and that's it. Only thing left is to put in the font inside the Tailwind config. So I'm opening the Tailwind config. It's in the team extend so we can put it here and we just need to import that font. So I'm importing it on the top of our file and instead of require, I'm quick fixing it to convert to import. Nice. So now our ShadCN is completely installed and we can start installing our ShadCN components. And now the component we are looking for is called carousel. And here it is on the left side in this sidebar. And by default carousel in ShadCN is looking like this. So it's always with the arrows on the left and on the right side, but we need to customize that. So let's first install this component. I'm going to copy this command for adding the carousel component. And that one now is being added and we can check here in the components UI and here we have our carousel component. Now we can go to the documentation and just import it inside of our main page. So I'm going to the page file and here I'm putting here the imports for our component and then I'll just copy paste entire carousel and put it instead of all these default things from Next.js and let's see how it looks. So this is the basic carousel from ShadCN and it looks just fine. Maybe this one is already enough for your project but there is also a way to know which item is currently active even outside of this wrapper. So we need to create a state within this page that can control what are we showing in our carousel. There is a carousel API option inside the documentation and we are going to implement it now. So here it is, it's the state and the set API prop to get an instance of the carousel API. So we are going to copy this entire thing. So we need type carousel API from our components. I'm going to import it here. We can remove this image and I'm going to put in all these states. So that one should be inside of our component and I can delete these things because we are inside the Next.js. And because we are using use state, we need to put use client. And now we can put this use effect. So I'm again going to copy it without the react part. Like this, importing use effect. And in the end, I'm just putting set API to set API inside of our carousel. So now with this set API, we have exactly the same thing in our carousel like we did before, 
but now we actually know exactly which item is currently active and how many items we have. So in use effect, we are first, when we load the screen, we are setting the count with the number of our items and we are setting the current to the first item. So we can now control these states however we want outside of this whole carousel wrapper. We can now actually remove our carousel previous and carousel next and we can create our custom buttons here below and we can call it now just left and left and right. I'm going to import the button from ShadCN also and I'm going to wrap it up in one flex div so it looks nice. I'm just going to say here flex and gap of maybe three and also I'm going to remove this minimum height screen. Here I got the Y and I'm going to put a gap of 10. So let's see how it looks here. It's okayish. And also instead of these three dots, I'm going to put one, two, three. So it's easier to test with three dots. It's kind of hard to see if we're making any changes. And now we need to implement into these left and right button, the API that is changing our current item. So on our buttons, we are going to put here on click and there we are going to use the API and just say scroll to like this. And we are going to, because this one is the left button, that's current minus one. And we are going to do the same thing for the right, except we are just going to put plus one like this. And in our use effect, we are going to remove the set count. We don't need count for this one and I'm removing everything that is not used. And also here, instead of plus one, we are going to delete that one because we are also doing minus and plus and let's test it out. So now here we are on number one. If we go right, it's going to the right. And again, the same thing and to the left, it's working also like that. Nice. There is also one more option that we can include and it's really easy. It's here in the carousel. We can just say opts and inside we can say loop true. And now we can go around from left. If you go left, we're going to number three, then again, two, one, three and we can go in circles. So that's really awesome, especially for some images. So let's put them in. I prepared images here in the index file. So that's the projects array, which is full of strings. And those are images actually in the public projects folder. So I'm going to call here our projects, which is exported array, and I'm going to map through it. And for each project, I'm going to display carousel item and inside the image from Next.js like this. And as a source, we are going to use it's it should be slash projects and then name of our whoops of our project image and then dot web P and width we can put to be 300 and height also. It's a square image, so that one should be fine. And alt can be also project. And here also in our carousel item, key can also be a project because that one is unique. And let's see what we got. So we have our images and we can go through them. It looks nice. It just needs to be centered and it needs to be a little bit bigger. So let's just center it quickly here on the carousel item. I'm going to put here class name of flex with full justify center and item center. So now if we check it out, it's much better. And also we are going to make it a little bit bigger than this, like this. Nice. So now we have nice carousel with images. It's already looking powerful. We just need to change these buttons and to put different background that I think it will be really cool. So I'm going to put behind some background stone 800 something like that. Yes, this one is looking great. We're going to put 
height to be screen height like this and now the buttons here instead of left we can put the arrow left something like this yes nice and size can be something like seven maybe and also we are going to put the same thing here instead of arrow left we are going to put arrow right so we are putting this one from the lucid react and it's already looking much better we are just going to put here the class name of maybe padding of 10 and rounded full like this let's just see how it looks well it's not that bad but again maybe not maybe padding to be five or something like that yeah something like this that's much better i think padding five is the default yeah this one is looking cool i'm just going to put rounded full here on the button not on the icon like this nice and we can remove this gap of 10 now from here and yeah we need to to move it a little bit inside so i'm going to put this whole thing into one div and that one needs to be flex column like this flex flex column and there we can put that gap of 10 and now it will probably look much better so we are going to put justify center and item center not baseline center like this nice let's see how it looks awesome so let's test it out one more time without the console so this is our carousel with our images and it looks really nice and modern and i think this is the perfect way to show some of your projects or images or whatever you have in your project hope you have enjoyed warriors subscribe for more content like this